Okay, so recently I installed this Neo 185 bidet to our standard uh, elongated bowl toilet here. And I'm actually gonna do another install video, but before I do that one, I wanted to show what you get out of the box and why I'm doing a follow-up video. So the actual unit sits here attached to your regular toilet seat here and uh, everything's all good except for the actual unit itself has this thickness so when you close your lid it uh, you know it'll sit down but it, that's kind of awkward and then my personal favorite is we are attached to the house water line here. So if we just switch it to the regular one and uh, if we swoop around over to the door here, let's see if we can do it just barely on. <laughs> yeah, ready? Yeah, that's pretty intense. So we're actually gonna put on a relief or a pressure sensor valve to reduce the uh, water pressure. And then we're going to install from Lux Bidet a new toilet lid that has gaps and risers made for this unit. So that's gonna be the how-to video. So I got everything stripped off and uh, yeah, so there's the toilet and everything's all stripped off. So we're ready to start installing the bidet again, uh, but this time with the new valve and the seat. So I'm gonna try and do this the best I can because I'll be holding things and moving stuff around. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach this unit to the bottom. So I laid it out like this where if these pieces are the underside of the toilet working our way up to the top. All right so I've gotten the old stuff taken off. Here we go right and now we're ready to reinstall the unit with the new valve and the seat. Go wide, perfect. Okay, now we're gonna set uh, first. So grommet says, that little grommet, unit goes on top, alignment plate, alignment plate. Now the tricky part, that goes through. And what I'm gonna do is put this on the side up. So we'll hold that and then screw this in this way up and there's that. Then same on the other side here. We need to adjust our little guys here. There we go. Okay. Put that in there like that. Then this one. screw down then you can take your screwdriver here and then you don't need to go all out so it feels good and tight uh, probably looking at them probably need to Uh, right. 
then the lid. It just fits right down in, it says, supposedly. So, after some adjustment, we are sitting nice on the bowl here, and the uh, nice thing is right on there, and get the soft close, which is great. Now, we're going to uh, do the water, which, you know, hopefully we can all see going on down here so you know I'll be reaching in here and everything so it's gonna be a little weird but basically here we go your water main comes into here this goes up the toilet this goes to the bidet and then you control the flow like that so you don't need to get crazy on it. One, make sure you're, you have access to the flow control here. You don't want to like seal that off somehow, block it off. Let's do it like that. This piece underneath here, the water supply. Cool. Then, you know, our bidet line here, which has a uh, piece for tightening, help you out. So, we'll get this on here. That, and I'm actually going to use my wrench here to. I'm just tight sink this one out a little, cinch this one out a little bit. I'm not going crazy or anything, just tight. And uh, that one, and then, and then this piece goes on back here. it so we're gonna test it out next all right so everything's installed and you can see that valve is almost to the 12 o'clock position which means <laughs> it's almost completely off and uh, so that means I've had to restrict the pressure like almost a hundred percent but what we do get is See if we can uh, do this, ready? Definitely more reasonable. <laughs> so everything seems to work. So all set. Good luck. <laughs> 